We're here at the All Claire shop in Nashville. This is my friend Johnny Serrano. You guys, you guys probably remember him from, from the video three years ago, man. It's crazy. That video, like that, that got a lot of uh, a lot of views, and I'll yeah. hopefully introduce a lot of you guys to All Claire. I've I've been using these same All Claire RSM quad drivers for the past three years. Um, yeah, it says it says 07 2018. So that's when they're made, yeah. right? So yep. July of 2018. It's right now. It's March of 2021. How many years is that? Almost three years. So they've been working great for me. Um, and I wanted to stop by here because we were in town anyway. We were at the Belonging Co Church last night. We did a tech tour there. And now today we're going to fly back. But before we do, I wanted to hang out with Johnny, talk about some in ear monitoring. I kind of want to feel like I want to upgrade in the near future and also talk about just maintenance because I don't like want to get rid of these, um, but I think there's some things they need to be cleaned out. So Johnny's going to show us how to clean them out. It's an important thing. Yeah. And he's got Adam's in ears too. Yeah. Which models were those? This one, this is the reference. So it's a triple driver. Okay. Um, which is also great. Another great model for mixing or stage guitars. So yeah, these are favorites. So yeah, the main thing I tell everybody this, try to clean out your ears, like your actual ears, probably like once a week. You don't want to use a Q-tip all the time. Yeah. But like they make a lot of like syringe that you just spray out your ears just to make sure everything's clean. Because I cannot wait for my ears clean. <laughs> I, We're gonna get to it. I think I might have used a Q-tip like three times over the past three years. Hey, so. you know it's good that you don't use a Q-tip though. I so I yeah. cannot wait until I can hear again because that's that's out. the time I felt like three years ago I could uh, you like you took out. Yep. It was like a uh, marble size. It was. It was a good chunk. Okay, so clean our ears more. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then after you use your ears, try to wipe them down after every use. So we use just like a, it's a sanitizing, like just a regular wipe. Here, so give me one too. Yeah. I don't want you to have to wipe all the nasty. <laughs> That's why I'm wearing so. gloves. I know. So, <laughs> so yeah, it's just like a cleansing wipe, sanitizing disinfecting you know because that's what we need so yeah after every use i always just wipe down the ears if you don't have a wipe i need a scrape yeah so here, here you, of you can use the brush oh, so that's, that's what yeah the brush that's for. what the brush is for is to wipe off any excess on the monitor what if it's like caked on there like concrete if it's caked on you're just going to really scrub it off okay. okay um so yeah i do this after every use i can't believe how shiny it is now <laughs> it cleans it very well wow. And if you don't have a wipe, you can use, it's kind of gross, a shirt, any kind of paper towel, something like that. It's just so you don't run into like them looking like, like I don't this. want to point it out. You don't want to look, you don't want them looking like this. Like it's all cloudy. Yeah. It's all about cleanliness. Yeah. <laughs> but sometimes you don't have time. So I get it. It's just not like a necessity no, it's, until yeah. it becomes one. Yeah, exactly. Until you can't hear anything. So it's like, relaxing. I can't hear anything in this low, low driver because yeah. it's impacted but so yeah that's like the number one thing that i do um, and then the biggest thing is like getting in those tubes mm -hmm. and really you don't want to like just push it down uh -huh. you want to get around that wax and kind of just pick it up and pull it out so a lot of people i'll have a lot of people call and just say like the earwax is just getting pushed down every time it's just because they just go in there and like yeah pick it out okay you really just want to get around the edges and kind of loosen it up and pick it out yeah. um better Yet here we have a vacuum and they're also available online where you can actually get that wax out. So once you do that, you just take the vacuum and you clean it out. This might be a little loud. And it really just gets everything. You can hear it like really working. And there's like these little dampers down there. You don't want to go past those because that's what creates like the sound signature. You just want to go right up to them. And that's it. So like, if you have a vacuum, it's you're gonna keep your ears very clean, okay. and they're just gonna keep work. Wait, I actually have to use the vacuum. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it doesn't just magically just by just by owning it doesn't make it magically clean. All right. So the green things you're talking about, like yeah, you don't want to go pat. You'll like if you go right up to it, you'll feel like a little resistance there. Yeah. You don't want to keep pushing because yeah. those are dampers in there. Clean. Yeah, yeah. You can see if you can see right through, and there's like the, you see the like mesh. Okay. That's like, yeah, that's clean. There's nothing in there. And then on Adams, we're actually gonna change the cable here. So okay. all our cables are detachable. So easily, like you can replace them easily. Yep. You just pull off that cable like that. And I was telling you how mine, mine is almost too easily detachable. I yep. think it's one, of, I think it's my left ear. 
I don't know which one it was. It was like sometimes one time I'm like I put it in my ear before and, the, and, and it, 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 it detached. Yeah. And again, this was like I don't. Oh, yeah, I think it was my left one. Yeah. A lot of times that's because do you pull your cable out from your ears out from the cable sometimes? Probably. Yeah. So that's just like yeah. resistance. Uh, um, and when that when that happens, it's gonna pull on those little like the holes in there. Yeah. It's gonna make them a little bit loose. Yeah. So we always recommend grabbing from the actual monitor itself and then pulling them out. Yeah. Are all the cables the same, just different colors. Yep. Two prong. We have black and clear. Okay. Um, and then we have a 65, 64, 65 inch and then a 50 inches are standard. Okay. Yep, and then we have a, a premium cable which is made for more of our studio models. Mm. They're pretty thick, mm -hmm. so people think that they're really sturdy and really like, they're the best cable, but it's really made for those studio. So my, yeah, give your assessment of these. Yeah. They still look great. Yeah, I mean after- The I tubes aren't them. yellowing, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've wiped them like, with a cloth like this <laughs> in three years. A lot of the time I'll see like just yellow tubes mm. when they haven't been cleaned. Yeah. So they, yeah, they look good and they're fitting good. They're sealing. Yeah. Here, I'll throw them in. Let's yeah, I'll them. show you. It's... Yeah, they still look good. Open your mouth. They're not moving as much. But if you're always going to get, if you're going to get a new set, then we always just do new impressions. Yeah. Because think... your ears change. Yeah. No, I, I'm good. still happy with yeah. the, with the fit. Like they're really comfortable. Um, Maybe the left doesn't seal as much as the right does, but I don't know. And I can fix that right here too. I oh can, really? Yep, I can adjust any kind of fit. How? Um, so we just add a layer of lacquer. So like shell material oh. as well. So it just builds up that canal. So it's a little bit thicker. Oh wow, that's cool. So yeah, we can easily, so if somebody gets their ears and there's like some kind of fit issue, if they're not sealing or if they're too loose, mm -hmm. You just send them into us or come into one of our shops and we can adjust the fit easily. Oh, okay. And that's like part of like our 30 day fit guarantee. Yeah, because I think, let me try that again. No, I think they're fine. Yeah. I don't want you to, I don't want you to change them. They're, yeah. they're good. <laughs> don't, don't mess up my ears. But if I we know. needed to, we could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think they're good because it's just like, sometimes just when you put them in, you just yeah. got to make sure they seal. And you're here, so it's like, are, am I, are they fitting? Are we sure we're fitting? Yeah. So, yeah. 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 But cool. if you ever have issues. Well. I'd say it's time for uh, Looking in your ears. cleaning. That's my, my favorite part. I actually have a camera, so we can oh, gosh. look in your ear live. Uh, you want to hang on to it? Uh, oh, yeah. Because you can look at it live. Oh, gross. Oh, it's so hairy and waxy. Oh, that's all wax? Yeah, it's not It's not focusing. Let me get it to focus. Oh, so see that? that that's a oh wall of wax. Gosh. Oh, my gosh. It's not the clearest picture, but. Oh, <laughs> how do I hear anything right now? You see that there, that's your eardrum back there and that's the wax blocking it. So you have a little bit of a gap. Oh my gosh. To be able to hear. Oh, get there it out. It, <laughs> yeah. so, it got clear. Cause I, yeah, listening to it, I'm like, you know, I don't, I didn't hear much Base or lows. Yeah, so you're probably gonna get more mid and high ranges. Yeah, okay. Okay, that makes sense. That's what I felt like listening to that mix. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. You wanna keep it? Oh. Do you guys, do they get to see that again. Like, I cannot believe that just sits in my ear. Oh, even to get the hair on it. <laughs> we oh. got another one though. So you hear like air coming in. Now. Yeah. Yep. It's kind of crazy. It's a pretty good one too. You know, I don't think they're as big as they were. No, they at weren't. Least. Last time it was like deep and it was just like a it line. Was so big. We'll have to go. Well, That's more like a pea size. Yeah. Like yeah. That. Just gotta do this every three, four years, I guess. Yep. Whoa. See that? There's your eardrum. That's, I can see my eardrum, guys. Isn't that crazy? It's amazing. Oh my and God. And that's what your eardrum looks like too. It's important to keep your ears clean, especially if you're using in-ear monitors. Yeah. But just in general too, just like the. Hygiene. Hi, uh, not, yeah, hygiene, but also just keeping your ears healthy so you yeah. can do what you do. Yeah. So, all right, let's get some impressions on you. Okay. This is the protect your eardrum that's freed. It's probably gonna feel a little bit a little tight. tender just because of that yeah. wax coming out. Yeah. 
All right, and then I'll have you bite down on that in the tall way. Just in case you, like when you sing, open your mouth, doesn't break the seal. And then it'll be about three to five minutes. So we get both sides done. Ah. <laughs> it's such a good feeling. Thirty seconds. All right, you can go ahead and take that out. You're gonna feel a little bit of pressure here. And there's your nice. Out the rest of it. <laughs> it does. Now we get to listen to some ears. Yeah. Unless there's something else you wanna. So you guys do if what you just did with the impressions. You, anybody stops by, you can do. That. Yep. Yep. Awesome. We'll do the impressions. Then they can try out the different monitors, and these are all just universal fits. So you know they can go ahead and um, you know get a sense for what they're like. But but uh, get your but get your ears clean before you come. Yes, that is our. We always say that, try to get your ears clean if you feel like they're dirty. Yeah, they can just, work places they can go, like. Like Minute Clinics do it, um, like your primary doctor too. If it's like bad and they come in, I always like tell them to go to their doctor or a Minute Clinic. And okay, then, cool. Minute Clinics will like get you in there yep. right away, so. Yep, okay. Um, but yeah. So I'm coming from, these are some quad drivers that I like. Uh, I, I mean, I like them a lot and they're yeah. nice for, or they, sorry, these ones, five, those are five drivers. The, Pretty much just balanced, right? Like, yeah, pretty well balanced. Yeah. yeah, those have been like the top for like a lot of worship leaders. Yeah, for quite some time. Yeah. So, um, I guess it would be interesting to do. What's like? What's new? What are you guys? What have you been working on? Yeah. So in the last four four-ish years, pretty much from here on, are all brand new. Oh. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure we had the spire when we met couple years ago um, but yeah so we came out with like a studio line um, so we have three monitors in that line and they're great for mixing we have a lot of producers that are actually mixing a lot of albums solely on the ears like just to check a lot of things yeah. um, and so th we kind of that was kind of the direction we were going was to get people mixing on the road who are mixers but also touring um, we kind of came up with that line just for that as well. And a lot of audio files too, um, which is a huge market, Mo mainly overseas, but um, it's just a really big market. Well now, like so many churches having to do broadcast mixes and they yeah. never had to before, so. Yeah. And we saw a boost in that in the past year. A yeah. lot of people coming into us, like we need something because we're mixing at home yeah. and like our wives or husbands don't want yeah. to hear it all day. So. That's where in-ears come into a huge, play a huge part in that, so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the newest stuff that we have is the electrostatic um, tweeters. And that's like the newest technology in in-ears right now. Um, we came out with the Electro about two years ago now. Okay. Um, and then we just released our ESM, so it's a 13 driver. Um, 13 and it's drivers. 13 drivers on both. What in the world? Yeah, they're pretty, pretty bulky but they sound amazing. Yeah. Um, so the Electro is more in that uh, studio uh, sound, line, sound wave. Um, pretty balanced, but you get a really detailed high. So that's what the electrostatic tweeters do. They're, there's a transformer built in there and it just powers those tweeters to go. You can't really test it on machines that we have here and your ears don't hear how far it goes out. You just hear all the harmonics and stuff. Uh -huh. So it, it it gets out, I know, pretty far past the human e earring. Yeah. So, in the high range. So it just opens everything up. It's yeah. pretty crazy. So those are the electros that he's listening to. And right, these are just the UV2s. Yep. Universal fits. Bit of a difference there. Bit of a difference. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's like, the, yeah, you're, the, high, the clarity, the high-end stuff going on here with these, these uh, electros, holy crap. Yeah. 
that's... And it's still balanced. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's almost like the um, difference when you, like when you're encoding video and audio for your stream and you like have like a lower bit rate or something that, you know, if you, you lose some of the information, it's kind of the same. It sounds similar to the same effect, where it's like if you just started on the universe of the, the UV2s, like it sounds good, you wouldn't really know that it's probably notice any, you know, no problems with that, but yeah. then it's like, whoa, it's uh, what, what yeah. going from go, going from the electrodes to the UV2s, it's, it's pretty cool. Right, like it's all, yeah, yeah, yeah it's all there, it's just because that's why when I, whenever you're listening to a stream that's encoded with like, you know, subpar processing, like you just lose a lot of information. Yeah. So these are the. That's the Studio Four. Okay, so yeah. what are the differences between these and these and the RSM? So the, yeah, the biggest difference is that it's made with just different material to make the flat sound. Um, it is the flattest thing that we have in our line. So you'll you'll hear a huge difference there. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> To me, I'm not. I don't know if I'm enough of an audiophile to be like to to go much higher end than the quad drivers. Like I'm like, eh, I can maybe tell the tell some of the difference, but. Mm. Yeah, I I do like these studios. Um, it's so hard though. It gets to the point where it's like. It's, you're comparing very small details, yeah. but you hear them. What's another one I could try? Um, okay, so you got the UV2s and then those, but those are universal fit and then you've got the, the your Versas are kind of your entry level. They're entry custom. level custom, yep. Okay. Are they, how, are they any different in drivers and stuff, or are they the same? They're a little bit of a different fig, uh, configuration, just different model drivers. Yeah. Um, Let me see the Versa, because I think, I think maybe a lot of, I think a lot of worship leaders might be like, why, why, why would I spend, a, yeah, like Versa, you know, I, I don't know, I feel like it's pretty safe to say in most of our applications, like, you probably don't need the twenty-five hundred dollar no, in your yeah, I wouldn't say that. Yeah. <laughs> um, the but the these other ones. Yeah, a lot of it depends on the stage you're playing on, the room you're in. Yeah. Um, if you had crowd nikes or not, because you're gonna run into distortion levels. So like a Versa, a Dual, yeah. there's not a lot to work with, so you don't have as much headroom. So oh. when you go up, I always try to get people in a triple because that's something you never really need to upgrade unless you're just like I need more, because okay. um, headroom's a huge a huge issue. Okay. Um, so that's like the only thing I always tell people. Yeah. And that's not just from like a sales tactic, it's just, it's the technology. You can't do a lot with two drivers if you like a hot mix. You're gonna run into distortion a little bit. Um, going up to a triple, you won't really ever run into distortion levels because there's just more headroom. So that's the biggest thing from driver components okay. is that when you go up, headroom goes up with it. Yeah, I don't know if you have like Ableton or something where you can bring a track up, or if you just if your computer can get that loud, but you'll see the difference if you go up in volume compared to each one. You don't have to push some of them as hot. Yeah, they're all great. They're all great headphones. Whether you get the whether you get the verses, whether you get the I th yeah, I think there's like. I'd say if you're a worship leader trying to think through this, like if you have the budget to go with, you know, quad drivers, I would, I would go. These are still, I think, my favorite. Um, the studios, uh, again, I'm not, I'm, I'm just not a, enough of an audiophile. What's the best way, like, do you think when people are testing these, like, what's the best song to listen to to like hear? Whatever they're used to. Oh, okay. So like, when we have people come in that are wanting some kind of studio level monitor. I always tell them bring up something that you're mixing, so you can re you really know what you're, or something you have mixed, so you know what's going on. Yeah. Because um, like for the studio lines, it's really made for those people who need to hear everything that is being portrayed on a song. Yep. Um, so that's what those are made for. So it's pretty specific, and you're gonna hear very small details, but to their ears, they'll hear huge differences between 
a Studio 3 and a Studio 4, just because like their ears are trained to listen to that. So, and we have a lot of worship leaders that do use the Studio 4 because they want that balanced sound on stage too. So it's really whatever you're used to and whatever you're wanting to get out of your monitors. That's what we try to do with all the different models that we have. Yeah. Um, like the stu like the RSM, I think in my opinion is the most versatile monitor that we have. Um, just because it can do everything that you need it to do. Especially as a worship leader, yeah. you want to be able to hear everything going on on stage. So it's just more balance in that way. Yep. I'm gonna listen to my live stream mix that I mixed last week on the electros. You know what? I think this just confirms that I'm still happy with my RSM quad yeah. drivers. Still, I mean, these other ones are great. I just. I You've been using it for so long too that you're just so used to it, yeah. and that's yeah. that's a big thing too. Once you get into something that you like, it's hard to change. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it would be. I wouldn't. You know. It's not like I'm gonna say no if I had if I got a pair of the the electro, um, yeah. but it's just to me it's just it's kind of overkill for my situation. Yeah. Do you want to try the ESMs out? The new oh yeah. Oh, those are like the the twenty five hundred dollar ones. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. Yeah, we came out with them because people were asking why don't you have something in that price range, and so we're like, okay. <laughs> okay, we can make it. Wow. But they are really yeah. You'll hear. They blew me away the first time I heard them. I'm a fan. They're pretty crazy, right? Yeah, it's like, you just hear everything. Yep. Yeah. So that's like the stage version of the Electro. Okay. Because um, with the Electro, when you're like bigger stages, we have a couple guys that like in arenas and stuff like that, they just couldn't get the low end out of them. So that covers that. Um, yeah. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, they're they're pretty wild. Honestly, the only, the main reason I want a second pair is just like a backup, <laughs> like or these to become a backup, and then the other yeah. ones in case if something happened. It'd be interesting though. I'd like to have some sort of different listening profile. So these are our Spires. next popular one. Okay. This we have been selling these left and right. Yeah. For the past two or three years. Yeah, the the RSM was like the go-to, and then the Spire all of a sudden became that. All right, so I, I do want to get a second pair of in-ears, even though my RSM quad drivers, they're going on almost or about three years, they're still working great, but I mainly just want them for a backup. Like I realize if something happened to these things and I didn't have anything for the Sunday, I just, I don't want to be, yeah, I don't want to be in that situation. Um, and also maybe something with a, a tad bit of a different, uh, uh, prof like listening profile to them. So yeah. these are the Spires. You said these are kind of like the next good step for me to take in terms of like what's what is about these yeah so it's a six driver um and so it has that same like kind of balance sound but there's just more to it okay. so you're going to get more low end more clarity more overall headroom um so the biggest difference you're going to hear is that it's just going to be full mm -hmm. um you and when you're it's going to sound a little bit different when you're on stage i know it sounds weird but like listening to it your computer might not power it enough, but on, when you step on stage, it just opens up. Oh, that's cool. Um, so yeah. especially panning, it just, everything opens up a lot. Oh, cool, cool. I wish there was a better way just to the AB, but there's, you only have two ears. You should have, oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> there's only two ears. So even if you had, <laughs> even if you had them plugged into the same thing, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I do hear the, like, it's like I have a little bit more on, on, on each end of it, like the, the lows and the highs a little bit more, so. Yeah. I think you're right. I'm gonna go with these, man. Yeah, just, you're gonna, on stage too, you'll notice. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, especially, like, adding some room mic into it and just presence overall. It yeah. just opens everything up. Oh, nice, nice. Cool. I'm gonna go with the Spire 6 drivers. Um, I always tangle these things up so much. So yeah, let's talk about when people order order these online. Yeah. Like when you go to you can go to the website. Obviously, it's easy to order things online. But you said it's important to if you have questions, guys, to like actually yeah. get the 
just give you a call? Is there a number yeah. they call or just a yeah. form they fill out? On our website, we have a support link that you can like actually email us. Mm -hmm. You can call us. We have two numbers, our Minneapolis shop and our shop here in Nashville. Okay. Um, you'll always get a hold of somebody, no matter if it's within work hours, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, the biggest thing is just like talking through what you do, um, what you're using now, what kind of room you're in, because that plays a huge factor in what monitor is going to suit you best. Yeah. Um, because we get some people who get ears and they're like, ah, oh, it's not what I needed. And it's just because it's like, you don't know what you're needing, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Because it's a totally different market. You can't just buy, you can, but you might not love them. You can just, but you can't buy them and expect them to be perfect. Yeah. Um, unless you know exactly what you're needing. So yeah. that's the biggest thing that we always recommend is just talking to us. We're always there to talk and see what we can do to help you and walk you through the process before and even after if you have any questions we're always always here to answer questions yep. awesome yeah. well thanks man we got the ears cleaned we've got some tips on maintaining ears um learned a thing or two about drivers and how those how those impact like the the headroom and and the just the quality of sound that you get so love what you, i mean now it's great i mean I knew these are great headphones when I bought them the first time, but now after using it for three years straight every single Sunday, and then also for a lot of post-production work I do, editing these YouTube videos, yeah. like I it just... It's, it's awesome. an important piece of gear. Yes. And you don't realize that until you have it, and they don't, they, they go away at some point or something. Yep. So that's why it's always good to have a backup too. Yep. So, awesome. yeah. Um, so guys, go ahead and we'll put, we'll put the links to All Claire down below this video, check them out, uh, shop at their store, get a hold of them. Uh, who knows, you'll probably chat with Johnny or one of the other um, team members they have here about which ears you need. And just, in, yeah, this is something you just don't want to skimp on. It's so important for hearing yourself well, hearing your band. Um, very important tool, especially now that most worship ministries have transitioned to in-ear monitoring. And then if you're new to in-ear monitoring, check out those universal fits, because I imagine like you probably have some churches who get um, a few of those maybe for their team and then they can just switch out buds or something. Yep. Yeah, and we do group uh, pricing. So if there's three or more people ordering anything, yeah. just let us know. Oh, we cool. can set up a code for your church or whatever that is. Oh, that's good to know too. So that's just another good reason to like actually reach out to them before you place an order online. Uh, to get that, that, that volume uh, pricing or group pricing on that as well. So. And something else I can throw in too, we actually come out to churches and do these like, we do this with churches. Oh cool. So we can come to your church depending on how many people you have and set up a demo day. Oh, um, we call it the Al Claire Road Show. So I, I actually go out and our owner, Mark and Amy, they, they'll come out too and do this demo day. And oh, we're cool. just there to show people our ears, yep. do free impressions, yep. um, and it's just a way that we do our business. We want to be there and oh, answer all cool. questions face to face too, if we can. Yeah, yeah I should have you uh, in, come out to our studio, the church yeah. we're at, South Fellowship there, because we'll hopefully be doing some events soon. And yeah. um, while people are there, they can do that. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Thank you, Johnny. Hey, man. Thank you. I guess it's time for lunch or coffee. One, one of those two right now. I'm, I'm feeling coffee. I'm recovering from a good Southern breakfast <laughs> I had here. So thanks for watching, guys. Smash like, subscribe, share with your friends. We'll see you next time. Oh.